In the name of quickly getting to the point, I'm gonna start this video off by saying that this SSD that we're gonna be talking about here today is not really all that unique compared to any other 2.5 inch SSD. So if you're coming here trying to figure out if this Kingston drive is really light years ahead of anything else on the market at the moment, then I'm just gonna start off by saying, no, no it is not. So a short while ago, Kingston reached out to me with an offer to take a look at one of their new 2.5 inch SSDs. Initially, I wasn't all that interested because realistically with SATA, you can only really go so fast. So there's only so fast or really all that unique a single 2.5 inch SSD can really be. But that being said, I was curious anyways. And I mean, hey, it was the first time someone had reached out to offer me a product to take a look at. So I took them up on it. Upon its arrival, I was very surprised to find out that they not only sent me just like a drive and maybe some mounting hardware, they sent me the drive with like a full kit. So essentially the point of the kit is to be sort of a transfer or a cloning kit. So it includes like a little enclosure for the drive that has a USB 3.0 interface on it, which can effectively allow you to say clone an OS from an existing drive to easily put it onto this one. So I guess they're sort of marketing it towards people who want to say upgrade to an SSD without losing using any of their previous data, or perhaps those who don't know how to reinstall an operating system or something along those lines. But of course, but of course, that is not how we're gonna be using it today. <laughs> Upon my uh, testing of this little enclosure to see how it would, you know, show up in your OS, I found it quite literally shows up as just an external drive, a 480 gigabyte external drive at that. So I got to thinking, well, if it's an SSD and it's USB 3.0 capable, in theory, wouldn't this be faster than your typical flash drive and definitely faster than your typical external hard drive? As I said, upon plugging in this drive, I found that it showed up just like any other drive and it was, you could, you could format it, you could partition it, and you could basically do anything with it that you would a normal flash drive or just even an internal drive of some sort. So upon this discovery, of course, I was like, yo, we gotta do some like other stuff with this. Let's test some video editing. Let's test some playing games. And boy, I, I did. <laughs> One thing I would like to note before we start diving into the actual like testing and messing around with it is um, upon using this to test video editing, I discovered that um, if the drive is inactive for like maybe 10 seconds or more, it goes into like a sleep state, which takes about Ten, another 10 seconds to recover from, where if you try and like fetch data from the drive, you have to wait for the drive to wake back up, essentially. Upon emailing the Kingston rep that contacted me, I discovered that, well, for one thing, this enclosure is, was never intended to be used in this manner, and that yes, it does indeed have like a sleep function. But he was also kind enough to send me a link to a piece of software that essentially allows the drive to stay awake by writing a small little like file to it and essentially just writing it and deleting it like a little text file every, I think I have it every five seconds right now on this drive. And that seems to solve all the problems. But anyways, for those of you who care, let's get into the, uh, the actual results of some of these experiments. Now, for those of you who want it short and simple, essentially it falls somewhere in between an internal hard drive and an internal 2.5 inch SSD as far as speeds are concerned. I'll throw some exact numbers up on the screen for you guys at this portion just so that way I'm not spouting out stuff that isn't exactly accurate and by no means is this an in-depth super comprehensive like test of what this drive is capable of in the enclosure. Basically to no one's surprise it's faster than an internal hard drive. I highly doubted it would be any slower by any means if not just equal. But at the end of the day, it performed smack dab in the middle of a hard drive and an SSD. Now, when it came to real world stuff, that's when things got a little bit more interesting. And namely because of that little issue I mentioned earlier in the video with the drive enclosure constantly falling asleep. 
This was mostly noticeable for me when I was trying to edit video off of it. In fact, this entire video is being edited off of this drive. But as I was like scrubbing through the timeline in Adobe Premiere and stuff like that, I noticed that if I left the application alone for like 10 seconds or more and went back to scrub through stuff or open files or something like that within Premiere, there would be suddenly this like 15 second delay where the program would just hang. During this time, I noticed in Task Manager that it was the drive was reporting 100% usage despite 0% disk read write activity. Essentially, there, were, there was no activity and yet for some reason it was reporting 100% usage all for this like 15 second period. Of course, that had to do with the drive falling asleep periodically, and I installed the application that the Kingston rep sent me, which I'll put in the link in the description below, which essentially was able to keep the drive alive, and I haven't had any problems with it since. Gaming was a similar story, quite frankly, it wasn't all that different. If anything, load times were a little bit faster than that of your traditional mechanical hard drive. I did compare it against a 7200 RPM, one terabyte WD black hard drive in here, which again, those will be in those comparisons that I showed you a second ago with all the drives. And games load a bit faster than your typical hard drive, but they are also loading a bit slower than most of my internal SSDs. Now, the one thing that I was really worried about with using an external drive for something like gaming was latency. Now, something that I've noticed a lot, and perhaps you have too, if you ever pay attention to your task manager with like disk usage, it'll tell you average response time, which goes all over the place typically. A lot of times with external drives, you see significant latency spikes, which could translate over to issues with games when you're say streaming a large world so like an open world game like i don't know just cause or even PUBG, since that map is pretty large so i was afraid i was going to see stuff like stutters when it was streaming in new parts of the map or something like that due to the fact that the drive doesn't just doesn't respond as quickly due to the usb connection fortunately however i honestly didn't notice any issues with that I tested Sniper Elite 4, PUBG, and a game called Distance just because it has like an endless runner mode and I wanted to see if like, ha say having stuff streaming in and out constantly was going to be a problem and it wasn't. PUBG had some minor little stutters here and there but then again that could just be PUBG. The footage that I'll throw up on the screen was Sniper Elite 4 which is still quite frankly a gorgeous looking game. It's got massive highly detailed environments so a lot of data streaming going on there and like I said no hitches, no slowdown. Again, the load times are a bit longer than an internal 2.5 inch SSD, but regardless, still pretty much went off without a hitch. Now to wrap this up, I just wanted to say that if you plan on buying this kit, for one thing, I'll put a link in the description down below. But uh, as I mentioned previously, this enclosure is not intended for this use. So there is no guarantee that the enclosure will last. Perhaps it'll die or something, or could even like shorten fry your SSD, I, I don't know. But again, it's not designed for this, so if you plan to use it for this use case, just keep that in mind. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a hot minute. I'm gonna make a follow-up video that's just talking about what's been going on for the past few months, so that way you can get a better idea. Thanks to all the new subscribers. For some reason, the algorithm is favoring one of my old SSD videos, and it's just like, it's going nuts. So, good on that, I guess but thanks to you who have subscribed as a result. Anyways guys, thanks for watching as always. If you have any thoughts about this, let me know down in the comment section below the video as if, as if you don't know where that is. <laughs> thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.